gravel so bad. But I'll wait till some of these are out of here before so I can make the turn easy. Hello friends and hello vintage lovers. This is the aftermath of two estate sales that were discounted heavily. I will show you a haul in a bit, but I think I did pretty good. There's something peeking out there. And here's something I got for Gina. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a good day. It's really hot here in Dallas and I've got to unload all this stuff. I'm not feeling it right now, but you will be getting a haul soon. Okay, bye guys. Hello friends, hello vintage lovers. Welcome to the haul from today. I do apologize, I didn't get very much footage. Both of the estate sales that I found anything at were absolutely packed. It was the last day, so all sorts of deals were being made and there honestly was no way I could film in them. Too many people, too many people talking, like it just, it would have been crazy. Plus, I had to do a lot of digging in both of these estate sales, actually. So, this is probably going to be broken up into two hauls, maybe three. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, but I wanted to give, you know, a little bit of time to go over each item and kind of explain to you what happened at the estate sale. Um, I usually start over here, so today will be no exception. Um, I did pick up quite a bit of embroidery today. Um, the person that lived in one of the houses we went to was very, very into embroidery and crochet. Um, there was some needlepoint. There was a lot of really pretty items. Um, I love this because it obviously has a Mexican theme and it's got a donkey so so cute i also got this pennsylvania dutch cookbook i've never picked one of these up before and i'm trying to remember if it has the date in it let's see here 1987. um i thought the graphics in this cookbook are so cool um it's just a really nice piece of well a cookbook or a piece of ephemera um, if you wanted to use it for that it's fine old recipes. Um, anyway, I thought that was really cool. Find that in Texas. Speaking of Texas, I did find this Francoma boot. This is actually the first one I found, guys. Of course, I've seen them in videos and, you know, everywhere. But th this is the first one I've actually found. So I was really excited, to be honest with you. It's in great, great shape. It still, you know, has the great Francoma logo there. Um, I just love it. I'm glad that I found it because it's very Texas and I love Francoma. I know it's no longer as big as it was, but I still pick up pieces when I can if it's something really cool, like the boot. Um, I did pick this up. Now, I don't really ever turn down brass. Uh, I do love the patina in this vase. I think it's just really, really cool. I know Nate would have a heart attack, but I kind of like it, I have to admit. Okay, I picked up two of these, and these two, I'll show you the other one in a second, are in amazing shape. I'm trying to remember, I think they're Tilco? No, they're all Ardalt, sorry. I couldn't quite remember. Um, these two vases, or pitchers, I guess they're more like a bud vase, to be honest with you. They're teeny tiny. They needed a lot of cleaning, but I might have to go over them one more time because they were really, really dusty. They're, they're beautiful, and they're both, like I said, in excellent shape. No chips or scratches. Here is the other one. 
I believe it's marked as well. Yes, it is. Art Out Japan. Just beautiful piece. I love them both. And of course, they're meant to be displayed together, as you can see here. Just really, really pretty. I also picked up this. I was like, crack, that was the bowl. It wasn't the, uh, the vase. Um, this is so pretty. This is left in. And it is antique ivory hand painted left in. It is also in great shape. I did not find any damage on this piece either. It's so, so pretty. Look at this. It's not even dirty on the bottom. Um, there's a lot of detail on this. And I absolutely love it. Speaking of absolutely loving something, I love this mid-century dish. I'm assuming it's it's got to be a planter. Yeah, it's a planter. Um, this one is Enarco, as you can see here. And I love the lines. I do believe it is a lotus. What do you guys think? It's got to be a lotus, right? Um, I love the color. I love this gold detailing. It's just awesome. Very excited about that. Now, this I also got. I picked up this Indiana glass bunny on, bunny on a nest. That's what I want to call it. Um, it is a candy dish. I got it because it was a good price and I thought I would save it for an Easter sale or I might just add it to my collection because I don't have one of these yet. Um, it is in excellent shape if I don't damage it right now. Um, I mean, it's cute. Who doesn't love a bunny? Come on. Just cute. I also picked these two up and I do believe they might glow. I need to check them again, but when I put my black light on them, there was a little bit of glow up here up top. I want to verify that before I tell you for sure, before I offer them in a sale, if, if I do. These are both hand-painted, and they are signed. I do not remember. Why do I want to say they're Fenton? They might be Fenton. I can't remember right now. It's been a really hot, long day, and I just got back. So I haven't had time to look them up, but I think they're really, really pretty. One of these does have a little bit of damage. Where is it? Now, of course, I can't find it. I believe it's back here. Ex excuse my dogs. The mailman just dropped off mail, I think. Um, okay. So I also found an estate sale that had a little bit of vintage Christmas. Now, I had not found about out about this estate sale until today and it started on Thursday and today's Saturday and the, today was the last day. They had a lot of Christmas, like a whole room devoted to it and I made friends with the people running the estate sale because I was there for a while and they were really nice but they told me, oh you should have been here on Thursday. We had so much vintage Christmas. I was like, oh my gosh. But I did manage to get a few pieces including this I want to say this is a mouse. Um, the reason I'm saying it, they've got a really short tail. If this is plastic, and this has kind of been caved in, I think I can get it back to its normal shape. But look at this face. So cute. I also got this. This is just like a little stained glass ornament. I just thought it was pretty. We are doing a Christmas in July sale. I think it's going to be week after next. Just to let you know, I'm not sure if it's going to be on my channel or Gina's. Probably on Gina's. We'll probably do it. On our Tuesday night sale, just because it's earlier in the morning. And I know a lot of people are excited about Christmas in July. So we'll probably do that on Gina's channel. I also got this ornament. I do believe this is likely vintage. It looks and feels like it to me. Um, I have not tried to date it yet. Again, I just got back and I wanted to show you guys these items. Well, well the items that I've gone through and, and cleaned. Because um, there's a lot of dirt I had to clean up. This is Fire King, and this is hand-painted. This is a really pretty Christmas mug, 1977, M green. So I don't want to say it's Mary. I could be wrong about that. But yeah, here it is. Anchor Hawking Fire King on the bottom. I looked everywhere for another one of these, and I only found the one. I don't normally do this, but I went ahead and got it because it's so pretty. It's milk glass, and it's signed, you know. Just really, really pretty. I got this vintage Texas magnet. This is probably something I will keep unless somebody is interested in it. I just think it's funny because Bluebell Ice Cream is there in Brenham and they have it listed like as the number one place in Texas. So I thought that was kind of cute. Um, I don't know how old it is. This well, it might be from the 80s. I don't know. 
I just thought it was cute. So I had to go get that. Now these clocks do have a high resale value. And what is so cool about this one is it's still running. It does glow in the dark and this brand is Spartus. I have not comped it, but I do know that this was worth me picking up and putting on eBay. And there are a few of these items that will go on eBay, so definitely let me know if there's something you're interested in. Um, you can email me, calypsoantiques at gmail.com, or you can DM me on Instagram, calypso underscore antiques. Okay, so before I get to the jewelry, I picked up this children's book. This book is from, I want to say 1948. Oh, gosh, excuse me, I got that stuck in the apron. Um, it does have some wear and, you know, a little bit of damage to it, but because of the age of this, look at the graphics, I went ahead and got it. Um, normally, I might pass this up. I'm trying to be as careful as I can here. There we go, 1948. I was right. Um, I haven't read this yet, so I'm not quite sure what the story is, but I did kind of flip through it, and I thought it was adorable. Some of the pages do have some damaging here on the side, but... People could use this for journaling if they wanted to, if it wasn't something that they were, you know, wanted, wanting to keep the book intact just because of the damage. Um, I think it's cute no matter what. It's a dollar. It was a dollar, excuse me, um, when it was first came out. So that was kind of expensive for back in 1948. I mean, it definitely wasn't cheap. So this is just a really good book. And look at the little cocker back there. Or is that a dachshund? I think it's a cocker. What do y'all think? Okay. So this, this is a really pretty handmade apron. Um, look at how small the front is. I don't know if this was for a child or if it was just meant to be like a cute little um, crocheted apron that you would wear like a hostess apron because it, it definitely doesn't <laughs> go down much. Now it did wrap around me just fine. So I don't know. You guys tell me, do you think this is for a child or for an adult? I realize I haven't pulled it out so you can see but it is pretty tiny and it's so short but it's so cute and it was in perfect condition so I had to get that then the last two things I want to show you uh, from this haul I got another hummingbird today which is kind of weird I picked up some hummingbird items hummingbird items over the past few days and this is a little bit articulated I do believe it is supposed to move like that um, it doesn't have a lot of movement but I think it's really really pretty I do not remember that there was a mark. Is that a mark there? No, I don't think so. I don't think it was marked. Um, but isn't that cool? I love it. I love the wings. That's kind of mid-century to me. What do y'all think? Um, and then I picked this up. Um, this is just a really pretty brooch. I don't believe this one was marked either. I haven't tested it. I don't think that's sterling on the back, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, it's porcelain, and it has this really pretty design of a couple courting, I would assume. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this. So, I did go ahead and pick up this Fire King um, mixing bowl, and I got it because of the mid-century look to it. Um, it's in great shape. But it does have some wear. Um, you know, there is part of the gold uh, detailing coming off, but I went ahead and got it anyway. I normally do not get things like this, but I don't know. There was something about it that made me decide I had to get it. I think it's really cool. And if you're going for a mid-century look, I mean, that's pretty awesome. If nobody's interested for the life sale, I may keep that for myself. I haven't decided. But I do need a mixing bowl, and it's pretty cool, right? Okay, guys, thank you so much for sticking around for this little haul. Um, there will definitely be another video tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get another one out today pretty tired and I it's really hot outside now you know it was a lot of work going through and finding these treasures and these really dark and dusty houses I this I mean this is worth it because of him right so cute again I'm sorry I think a package is being delivered now I'm not sure of course it always happens when I'm recording so I apologize um <laughs> sorry about that Living in my house is always noisy, so I don't know. Something was delivered, so I'm going to have to go check that out here um, when I'm done. But again, thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to film much inside the estate sales. The first one I went to is where the footage is from. 
I didn't find much in there. It was mainly modern items. And the last two, like I said, it was the last day and they were packed full of people and items. So it was really hard to try to film in there. I love this clock. I love that I can hear it ticking. Um, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like and comment. And definitely let me know if there's something you're interested in. I will always work with you on that before I go to a live sale. Or before any items go to a live sale, I should say. And yeah, just like, comment, share. You, you know the drill. And I hope everyone's having a wonderful Saturday. And I hope everybody has a great weekend. I hope it's cooler where you are just not ready for summer yet. I mean, summer's definitely here in Texas, but it's been pretty mild. And then today was just like <gasps> too hot. Okay. I'm shutting up now. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.